Radio frequency or radio frequency ablation. What is this? What does it do? Who is it good for? And what do you need to know before doing it? Radio frequency is used quite often in the dermatology world, but also in the generalized medical world. Usually it's used for skin lifting, for skin tightening, and even for photo aging. However, it has been used in liposuction when it comes to reducing fat in certain areas of the body. It has been used in cardiology. It has been used to remove and rebuild tissues in the female gynecological areas, among other areas of the body. And while all of those are medical procedures that should always be left to doctors, there are some that you can use at home. Home. The question is, what should you look for, what should you be aware of, and how does this differ from what's actually happening inside of the dermatologist's office or inside of the clinic? Nebulift is kind enough to sponsor the information in this video to help make education accessible and to help people understand what these treatments actually do, what you should know and what you should look for. And in order to understand that, we have to understand what radio frequency is. A lot of people think that these professional devices or the treatments in clinic are a type of laser, and technically that's not true. You see, radio frequency is on the electromagnetic spectrum. We have everything from gamma rays and x-rays to visible light, which is the small fraction of this spectrum that we can actually see. And then we have things like infrared, heat, and of course things like radio waves, which is what's used in radio frequency or radio frequency ablation. As you know, this is our skin. We have the epidermis, which is the very thin top, and then we have the dermis, which is made up of the papillary and reticular layers. This is where your collagen and your elastin is held, and this is where a lot of aging actually happens. When it comes to aging, we're generally talking about a little bit of saggy skin. We're talking about fine wrinkling, that kind of droop. And this mainly comes from two places. The first is, of course, time or chronological-based aging. This is just based on your cells renewing, telomere shortening, and the beautiful, graceful aging process that happens happens to all of us and hopefully imparts some wisdom along the way. But the second main cause of aging is photoaging. This is of course because of the sun, because of UV radiation, which directly damages DNA inside of your skin cells, and it's also things such as stress, environmental or external factors that can lead to photoaging. Now when that happens, it's of course the area down here, the dermis, that's getting damaged. And with all of these different graceful aging treatments, whether they are creams over the counter, whether they are bona fide lasers, whether they are radiofrequency or radiofrequency combination treatments. It's about trying to get this area to produce more collagen and elastin, you know, the strong, stretchy stuff. Now, radio frequency is unique because it has been proven to do this, and it's in a way that's quite non-invasive, especially if you compare that to lasers. Radio frequency actually shoots this energy or this radio frequency into the skin and down into the dermis. The difference here is that it's not just shooting it on top of the skin where it disperses out, it's shooting it in and deep. It's also non-specific, meaning that it can go around these different tissues and actually get to work. Now you see, if we can get this area in the dermis right here up to around 40 degrees Celsius, it actually causes collagen to degrade a little bit, to denature. And when that happens, it stimulates the body to produce more. Now we always hear about skincare products and creams claiming that they'll do this, but does it actually work? Uh, there aren't a lot of studies to back that up. But what is amazing about radiofrequency is that this has been studied in medicine and dermatology. There are medical papers, there are studies, there are even clinical trials and patients experiences from dermatologists that show that it works. Now, here's the thing, there are different types of radio frequency and radio frequency combinations, some of which you should only be doing in a dermatology office underneath a board certified and licensed practitioner, and there are others you can do at home. But specifically, there is a treatment called Secret by Cutera. This is radio frequency with microneedling, and this is very effective because microneedles are shot into the skin underneath a local anesthetic, and then they produce this radio frequency actually at the dermis. This is great, but it is very ablative. And again, as you are putting needles into the skin, you run the risk of having an infection. You run the risk of scarring and danger and a lot of things that can go very wrong, which is why microneedling should never be done at home. And you cannot get Secret by Cutera in an at-home setting. That is something you must go to a clinician for. And of course, there's also liposuction, which we talked about. Liposuction is fat removal. Um, that is done through, think of it as like a big hollow needle, and some emit radio frequency, which can kind of help with the fat degradation. But of course, you should not be cutting holes open in your body and suctioning out fat with radio frequency at home. If you're trying to do either of these treatments, they should always be done in a dermatologist's office or clinic, or a plastic surgeon's office or clinic, and never in your bedroom, never in your friend's bedroom, and never in some stranger's hotel room or basement. Okay? That being said, there are radio frequency devices that are still ablative but non-invasive, and that's where we get to the at-home stuff. 
Specifically, what if you can't afford a $1,200 treatment for Secret by Kutera? What if you don't want the needles in your skin because that scares you? There are at-home options, two of which I have tried for the last three months now, um, and I do have a couple of results as well as discussing some of these differences that you'll get at home versus in office. You know that I've worked in medical settings and that my specific interest, passion, and preferred field is dermatology. And I always say that there are certain treatments you need to get done by a professional in office. But I was a consumer before I was ever an expert, a professional, a medical esthetician, or someone to listen to. And I'll tell you straight up that as your acne big sister, I am here to protect you and yes, protect your wallet. And there are certain treatments that I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting done in a dermatology clinic because you can get similar results at home that might even work better, such as things like microcurrent. Um, if you have extra money, go for it, but like microcurrent is safe and effective to do at home. You don't need to see a dermatologist for microcurrent. But microneedling is again something that you always go to a specialized physician for. Radio frequency, as long as it's not combined with microneedling, is something that you can do at home. And again, as long as we are heating up the skin to around that 40 degrees Celsius mark, it's able to cause this degradation and stimulation down here non-specifically, which basically tells your body, hey, it's time to reduce more collagen. A few months ago, I did get my hands on these, and specifically, you know, because dermatology clinics are closed down, people are experimenting with skincare devices, people want results at home. The dermatology clinic that they used to go to is not accepting patients if it's not an emergency, and they're like, okay, I want my treatments, or I want to explore or play around with things, but I can't get an appointment, what am I supposed to do? You need to know how to use these things properly. For instance, you don't want to cause a burn to the skin by leaving it in one place for 10 minutes. You have to constantly move it. And you also want to make sure that you're using it with the right products. For instance, you need a gel conductor. Any ultrasound gel, this gel, an aloe vera gel, a glycerin gel will be fine. But you want to use this as something water-based, not oil-based, because water will actually conduct this radio frequency current and actually deliver it into the skin where it needs to be. Because remember, we're getting it down and inside, non-specifically, instead of just focusing on top. When it comes to radio frequency at home, there's two main things you need to recognize. Number one, this is not going to be as specific as what we can use in a dermatology clinic. We can specifically adjust the energy in clinic and therefore it can be a lot more effective, but it can also be a lot more dangerous. For instance, it is very, very rare, but some patients have experienced burns to the skin and others have experienced unwanted fat loss. Now with things at home like this, you can still get a powerful result, but the good thing is that it's not that powerful, so it's harder to hurt your yourself with. The other problem is getting ripped off. For instance, this was something that an influencer promoted. I decided to get it because this is $40 and this was like $400, $500. And I was like, oh, like I just want to see if it works, right? I'm a critic and a skeptic. Um, this is a uh, this is like an oversized toothbrush with only four probes that claims to shoot light at the skin. Really didn't heat up. This was a mistake on my end. And I later looked into it and found out that this was something that looks like it's being purchased from China on AliExpress and resold 50 times. So while the price point of this kind of hurts me, this is the Nebulift by Rebecca Tech, it actually has hundreds of micro electrodes that work in a uniform manner to actually deliver current to the skin. Um, it does have different settings. I personally only use it on a two. Um, again, this is powerful even though it's at home and you literally do feel it heat up and you can burn yourself with it. So I would not recommend starting at a five. I would recommend starting at a one or a two, make sure that you're placing it on the skin with a conductive gel or something to give you that current and make sure that you are constantly moving it. You don't want to keep it sitting here in one place. This takes about 10 minutes, but I wouldn't recommend doing it every day because remember, we are causing this collagen degradation. We are breaking collagen down and irritating it down here so that the skin actually rebuilds more. And of course that takes time. So I would personally recommend this. I think they recommend once a week. I would say maybe once every two weeks, um, so about twice a month. And that's using it an appropriate amount of time where you're actually giving your skin the opportunity to heal. And again, if you were to do this in office, you would normally book a treatment of probably six to 12 and again, depending on what you're getting, if it's just radio frequency, it could be 600 to 700 per treatment if you don't have insurance. And if it's radio frequency plus microneedling or radio frequency plus liposuction, well, that's plastic surgery and you're looking at 10 grand plus. So while I do recognize that this is expensive, um, it's not a $40 plastic joke. And it is also something that's kind of taking this technology home in a safe and effective manner. And you know that I'm a critic and a skeptic. So not only did I rely on my training when it comes to radio frequency to look into this, 
and what doctors and dermatologists that I've worked with have said and what we've done for patients. But I also did a little bit of extra digging to look into actual medical papers, to look at scientific facts, to see where is this backed up and where does it get a little bit loose. There was a study done in 2019 that specifically found an increase in the average collagen types 1 and 2, um, which are the ones that we want to target here in the skin. And when they looked at the skin microscopically, they actually saw new collagen formation, meaning that yes, the collagen that we're trying to stimulate was actually being created. This paper did state that three months post-treatment mean total elastin was significantly decreased, which is again why you have to keep going back to the clinic for treatments, or if you're buying one at home, at least you can keep up with these treatments regularly. Because again, it's kind of like going to the gym. If you just go once and hit the gym and the weights and the cardio really hard, are you going to see lasting changes? No, it's better to go three times a week for 30 minutes a day on a continual schedule to see results rather than going six hours for one day out of the month only. And again, people who run clinics are going to hate me for this. I get a lot of hate in the world because, um, you know, I'm taking away people's clients or I'm, you know, trying to save consumers money. But there are certain treatments that as long as you're not trying to microneedle yourself, um, you can do these safely at home. And for $500, it's going to be a lot cheaper than trying to go in for $1,200 treatments um, when you really don't need to. Now, again, if you're looking for something specialized, such as Secret by Qtera or liposuction, then definitely. Um, and again, if you're really looking to target fat reduction, or if you've had treatments in the past and you have dealt with burnt skin, then you definitely want to go in. But other than that, at least personally, I would look at my schedule and I would say, okay, does it make sense for me to pay a fraction of this to try it at home and see if I actually like it and see if I see results? And then if I don't, you know, can I return the device? Can I return something? And then can I go in for treatments if the clinic is open? Because you know, that's how I approach skincare and my finances when it comes to my beauty choices. This one does penetrate two to three millimeters underneath the skin, and they specifically say that they keep the skin under 42 degrees Celsius. So again, we want it over 40, but under 42 because we don't want burns. And again, when you use this, you need to make sure to use a conduction gel. Um, I get ones off Amazon. They have one as well if you really want that. But you want to make sure that you're constantly moving it, about 10 minutes. And again, once every two weeks is totally fine. If you keep it in one area, that's where you run the risk of burn. Burning, um, and that's what I don't recommend. And again, if you're someone who does suffer from severe hyperpigmentation, you might want to be a little bit more conservative and speak to your dermatologist first because there are heat treatments or actual laser treatments that can contribute to hyperpigmentation. Um, so if you've had heat treatments before and it's caused issues, this isn't for you. But for someone who's looking for lifting, for tightening, for help with photo aging, for solar elastosis, if you want a gift for yourself or someone else and you're just looking to build collagen, this is a good place to start. Again, I know it is a little bit more expensive, but trust me, I tried to go the cheap way and it was just gimmicky. Um, I've seen other influencers use RF devices, but when I looked into them, they didn't even have the multiple probes that would actually heat the skin appropriately or get it into the skin. We reacted to somebody who used an RF device and I was just like, I mean, I'd need to try it, but just based on my observations of it, it doesn't look like it works. So again, this one is the Nebulift from Rebecca Tech. I'm very happy that they did send this to me. However, that does not change my opinions or my brutal honesty when reviewing this or any other products. And if you're part of the beautiful butterfly community, you definitely know that by now. Overall, radio frequency is an amazing technology that is used in dermatology clinics. It can be used in combination or on its own. It is not one of those that I think you need to go to the clinic, especially because you see the best results when you do this regularly and over time. And um, this is one of them that you can do at home. If you have other questions that I didn't address here, whether that's about graceful aging, whether that's about other treatments or modalities, be sure to say so. And I don't know if they're having a Black Friday sale, but when I went on the website this morning just to make sure that all of my claims and facts were correct, it did have a little pop-up in a flash. So I would say, you know, add it to your shop tagger account or like put a little flag on your calendar, you know, to check on Black Friday um, and see if there are some deals or opportunities. Overall, remember to take care of your skin because it takes care of you. Remember to be beautiful both inside and out and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.